These days, separation anxiety in dogs seems to be a very common and prolific problem. This term is often used to generically refer to any behaviors exhibited by dogs where the dog, while being left alone, displays a host of maladaptive behaviors such as excessive barking, whining, urination and defecation, destructive chewing, or trying to escape from the house. When these issues are accompanied by signs of panic, distress or depression, they may indicate your pooch suffers from separation anxiety. For many dogs, even the slightest change in daily routines can be upsetting. However, just because a dog displays these behaviors when left alone does not necessarily mean that they have true separation anxiety. The dog may have the lesser condition known as isolation distress. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, Please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Are you sure this is just anxiety? Before you assume that your dog's urination in the house is separation anxiety, check to make sure that he does not have an underlying medical problem that causes this behavior. Common medical issues for uncontrolled urination incontinence can be urinary tract infection, bladder stones, diabetes, or kidney disease. How to avoid creating an anxious dog. Whether you are dealing with a new puppy, a newly adopted dog, or a dog that you already live with, it is not uncommon for them to attach themselves to a family member and not want to be separated from them. You can avoid complications from attachment disorders in your puppy or your newly adopted dog by observing the following steps. 1. Make sure there is someone there with the dog while they are making their adjustment to their new home and owners. 2. Prepare a nice quiet area or room for the dog so they have some place to retreat. 3. When the dog arrives in his new home, after showing him to his new toileting area, Spend the next 10 minus 15 minutes with him inside his new environment. Show the dog to his new bed or sleeping area. Stay with the dog but do not interact with him every minute to allow him to become accustomed to his new surroundings. 4. As the dog is familiarizing himself with his new surroundings, slowly begin removing yourself from his area but come back often so he can start to make the connection that the humans leave and then they return. What to do when you have leave your dog alone? Make sure the dog is safely contained in a crate or safe area of the house. Leaving your dog loose will mean that you will likely come home to massive physical devastation in your house. Exercise the dog very well before you crate the dog. A tired dog will be less likely to panic at your absence. End your exercise session and allow 20 or 30 minutes for your dog to settle down before you leave. Use counter conditioning to help your dog associate being alone with something good to eat. Use a treat dispensing toy or give your dog a stuffed con to occupy his attention when you leave the house. Busy mouths are less likely to become destructive through boredom or anxiety. Try leaving the television or radio on for your dog for some background noise while you are away. There are special music CDs or even DVDs made just for soothing dogs that you can purchase. Make your departures and arrivals as unemotional as you can. If you make a big fuss over having to leave the dog, the dog will pick up on your stress and be stressed and anxious too. Many dogs know when you're about to leave the house and will get anxious or try to prevent your departure altogether. One way to tackle pre-departure anxiety is to teach your dog that when you pick up your keys or put on your coat, it doesn't always mean you're leaving. If you have to be gone for longer periods of time, either arrange for a house or pet sitter to come in or consider placing your dog in doggy daycare. Leaving a dog at home all day by itself for long periods of time is just inviting attachment disorders to happen. Consult a medical professional if your dog continues to have problems with separation anxiety or isolation disorder and does not respond to behavior shaping or desensitizing techniques. And please remember that anxious behaviors are not the result of disobedience or spite, so please do not scold or punish your dog for displaying these behaviors. If you punish him, he may become even more upset and the problem could get worse. 
Be patient and work with him until he feels comfortable and confident enough to spend time alone. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.